Let's convert the decimal, 0 0.325, to a fraction. So first off, let's call it 0 0.325 over 1. It's still equal to 0 0.325, we're just dividing by 1. But now we have the start of a fraction. I can see that there are 1, 2, 3 decimal places. When there are 3 decimal places, we're going to multiply that by 1,000. And that'll give us a whole number. So 1,000 times 0 0.325, that equals 325. So now we have that whole number. But we can't just multiply the numerator by 1,000. We also need to multiply the denominator by 1,000. That's because 1,000 divided by 1,000 is just 1. So we're multiplying by 1. We don't change anything. We don't change the value, just the way it's represented. So 1,000 times 1, that equals 1,000. And we have our fraction. 325 over 1,000. That fraction is equal to the decimal, 0 0.325. But we can reduce this further. Let's give ourselves some room. So I know 5 goes into 325 and 1,000. But 25 also goes into 325 and 1,000. So if we divide 325 by 25, we get 13. And if we divide 1,000 by 25, we get 40. So we've changed the decimal 0 0.325 to the fraction 13 fortieths. If you divide 13 by 40 or 325 by 1,000, you'll get the decimal 0 0.325. This is Dr. B, and thanks for watching.